What is up everybody? How you guys doing? It's Friday the 10th of April um, and we're, we're still getting snow. It, it's been on and off most of the day. Um, today I just wasn't feeling too well. Nothing to do with like like coronavirus or like that. I have Crohn's disease and I was just having a bad day. Um, and sorry, I, I haven't responded to you guys recently in the past day and a half. Um, you know, I love, I absolutely love you guys. I love responding to you guys. Um, we're just, just going to do a night video right now. Hopefully we don't get in any trouble for driving. Because we are going to get something to eat, so I think that's okay. The Domino's weight is crazy. <coughs> As you can imagine. But yeah, guys, we're getting a consistent snow. I mean, it's... Uh, even if we didn't have this whole coronavirus issue going on and I didn't look like a train robber still. <laughs> um, like, uh, the resorts would still be closed, but you'd still be able to come up here and stay in the hotels and play in the snow and go sledding and stuff. But the ski resorts, they'd be closed already anyway because they close on the 1st of April typically every year. Um, we had snow till May 31st last year. It snowed on May 31st. I mean, you can check my videos. I'm not lying. May, May 31st, man, 2019. Um, but yeah, like, uh, and we still closed the resorts April 1st and it still snowed 60 days later. So, but the thing is, is that most of that time in between the low temperatures were not below freezing. So it's kind of hard to keep snow and make snow and, um, you know, anyway, hope you guys are good. As I said, I'm really sorry I haven't gotten back to you guys. I just haven't been, been feeling great. I'm feeling a lot better now. But I promise it, it's it was it's, it's my uh, it's my Crohn's disease stuff. Like it's uh, I've been going through it for like 15 years now. So I know exactly what it is, and I'm better now. It's not like I'm uh, you know like vomiting or coughing or um, have a fever or anything like that. Like I'm 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 totally good. I wash my hands like 300 million times a day. So. Alright. See, this is a rookie move. But I like driving through the village to take, uh, take video. Because it is really a pretty place. so strange at 8 30 p.m. with no one out here that's Robert's car he works there and that's it that's it I mean just eerie folks just eerie it's about to go down here we go yo We're getting crazy at the big bear Tacos. Sorry about that. I, I didn't want. I didn't want to turn it back on while I was the drive through. But anyway, I'm just gonna go do this short little drive into some of the deeper snow parts of town. Just look at how dead town is. This is just incredible. This is a resort town, you guys. And when we have snow like this, this place is so packed. Like right now, it'd be stop traffic right here. Like it's this is just unbelievable. This is unbelievable. But I'm in the boat of uh, I'd rather overreact a bit than underreact. You know, even if it causes, you know. I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting a light, consistent snow. This is really nice. This is Big Bear Boulevard.
had to get a video in today because it's, it's in, you know, I, I had to, but the reason why there weren't like four or five because of this steady snow, I mean, I mean it's been this light, but all day, um, it's because none of you could come up here and me driving around is risky right now. Um, it really is like, uh, geez, home of the free indeed. That's a line from uh, South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. <laughs> Finally, uh, never mind. Anyway. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna turn around right up here. I don't wanna go too much further. Yeah, it's, so we're making that turn around. But the road got really, it's like really rough over here, so I thought I'd turn down one of these little streets here. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. This is crazy. The road is so bad. We don't have to pay the road. Oh, it's so bad. Look. Oh. Oh, oh. Alright, sorry. So that's one of my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coaches. Hey. You gotta do it right. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that he wasn't from Brazil. But he would always talk like that. To, to joke around, but out of complete respect. Like, man, man, like, uh, I don't know. Many of you know any of the Gracies. They're very good teachers. <laughs> and they like to fight. <laughs> I mean, dude, um, what's his name? Uh, Horion, I think, or no? Uh, ah, I can't remember, damn it. But uh, out of the, the Gracie Academy, and I think Morwalk or something, so I always forget the name of the town that is, it's Torrance or something like that. But uh, yeah, what is his name? But anyway, I don't know why this long story, let's turn it into a long story like that. But um, yeah, he would always just, uh, um, you know, like, uh, make sure you tap. <laughs> I don't know, but, but like he's he's an American guy, and but he no, he's, he's so cool. And it's all out of respect. Like all of his coaches and his lineage is, is directly from like, uh, from, um, uh, oh man, jeez, I'm, I'm really screwing up, I'm really embarrassed, I'm a huge MMA fan, um, oh my gosh, the grandfather, what the hell is his name, um, not, not Hori, uh, whatever, anyway, yes. screw it, forget it, <laughs> jeez, it's just all about laughing, man. Laughing at ourselves, laughing at each other, and, but in a in a fun way, not not making fun of somebody, putting somebody down. Like uh, you know, I stutter, so like being made fun of for stuttering, like that kind of sucks. But you know, making fun of me because I'm a dork, like like that's okay. But when you get really personal to like things that people can't help, like that they can't change about themselves, then that's just not fair. Um, so. I can't change the fact that I'm a train robber. Seriously, seriously, awesome. This is awesome. I mean, we can go, well, I can't, I guess we can't go into banks, but I mean, you can go into a bank with a mask on. I'd like to make a tiny withdrawal. Whatever's in the safe. Anyway, I hope all of you are okay and none of you are affected by this in any way. Um, medically, I know um, emotionally we're all affected by it because, you know, it's almost like being in prison, I guess you could say, because you don't have the right to really be out and do much. I mean, what I'm doing is okay, but the cop could technically, like, pull me over and be like, hey, where are you going? Huh? You know, you're not supposed to drive tonight. Where are you going? Um... And I'd be like, oh, I just passed Jack in the Box. That's where I was going. So, just be careful out there. I can turn on the 
the brights right now, but there's a car right there. Anyway, it's 34 degrees, it's 8.39 p.m. on April 10th, 2020 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Just a resort town, completely shut down. And once again, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Um, yeah, just completely shut down. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Like, um, <laughs> wow. This is what socialism would be like, guys. <laughs> Sorry to talk politics, my bad. My bad. as I'll say. I just like the feeling of achievement and being able to achieve and grow and get to a higher level. And, you know, we're able to do that here. And I think that's the right way, you know, to be a, a meritocracy. But that doesn't mean like, I don't know, never mind, I'll shut up. So guys, it's snowing. Like when we want the snow, we don't get it, and when we really don't want it, because it just makes makes things a lot harder right now, especially for a lot of people that are elderly. Um, this is this is difficult stuff, man. This is difficult stuff. So I reached out on Facebook, but I haven't heard anything. So maybe I should check to see if, if my notifications are on, because I usually don't check my Facebook for any reason. Just craziness, dude. Just craziness. Usually it's full. Oh, it's so sad. Anyway, peace out, you guys. Till next time. And I will be getting back to responses. I'm sorry about the past couple days. <laughs>